You know how I'm really bad at tying my ends in when I'm crocheting? I'm also really bad at cutting my stray threads off when I'm sewing. Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to be using my sewing machine. I think the last time I did a dedicated sewing video, not including like thrift flips because I think those were just in vlogs so those don't really count, but like me making something from scratch was when I made my Will Byers Halloween costume in October. It is June, okay? It's been some time since I've touched my sewing machine. I'm actually going to be making myself a cross body bag, which is the new term people are calling fanny packs, which makes sense because I don't wear it around my waist. I usually just wear it like across my body. And the one that I currently use is this Stranger Things one that I bought at Hot Topic, I think during season three. So that was like 2019. I like it. It's comfortable. Sometimes when I'm shopping, I'll like just rest my arm on it. A lot of times, you know, I'm out vlogging. I'm out filming like thrift with me's and stuff. And having a purse is just it's so annoying. Whereas like the fanny pack, everything's here and I have my arms. My arms are free to do whatever I want. So I just kind of wanted to show you the one I use. Now here's the thing. I love this one. Okay, don't get me wrong. You know how much I am obsessed with Stranger Things, but sometimes I don't want to be like full on Stranger Things in the sense that I wear too much stuff that's a Stranger Things at once. So I have like a whole pile of t-shirts that just all Stranger Things. And I just, I don't want to wear Stranger Things upon Stranger Things upon Stranger Things. Okay, I'm not that out of control because it does say Stranger Things on the front. I want to make a new one that doesn't, so then that way I, I just feel more comfortable being able to wear an actual Stranger Things t-shirt without it being overboard. What I did is I actually went on Etsy, and Etsy is great when you're trying to find patterns for things. You can also find a bunch of free patterns out there, but I didn't really see any that I really liked, so I did go on Etsy. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I did buy a pattern. And what I love about Etsy patterns is like, you can save them, print this out. And if I lose it, or what usually happens is that I use it too much and then it just starts ripping, I can print more of them. I will be linking the Etsy site where I got the pattern. So if you see what you like and you also want to make it, you can buy the pattern from the person's Etsy shop. I had a little bit difficult time with my printer. Never had this much trouble with a printer in my life. When I went to college back in 2009, I bought myself a nice new laptop and with the laptop, you get a free printer. So I got myself a free Canon printer and I've had that printer for well over 10 years. I could literally let this printer sit by itself for like months, years, never touch it. And then I go to print something, prints it out perfectly. This, this other new Canon printer that's supposed to be like amazing. It did this. There's ink in it. I just haven't used the printer in like two months. Every time it passes through, it goes through great one way. And then it just completely stops printing the other way. And I know there's probably a, a solution to that. I didn't feel like fixing it last night. So I just took a marker and just kind of filled in the gaps. It's not like I have to print off a resume for work because that would not be fun. I do have the pattern pieces and I have to cut them out today. You know what? Thinking about about it now when I made the the Will Byers wizard outfit you know that goes with this hat that I have here I didn't use a pattern for it I just kind of made it up honestly I don't remember the last time I used a pattern to make anything I think it was last year when I made a dress that I never wore. Anyhow, let's get right into what I'm actually going to be using to make this bag. First off, you know, you see the pattern and part of me was thinking, oh, I kind of want it like a little bit bigger than this, but I've never used this pattern before. So I don't want to tempt fate and mess it up. So I'm just going to follow the instructions. Okay. And then when I follow the instructions and I decide, Hey, I like this, I'm going to make another one. Then I can break all the rules because I know what I'm doing, but you got to first know what you're doing in order to break the rules. That's what I always say about crochet. The fabric I'm going to use is this. Isn't it amazing? I thrifted this, I think, early 2020, and I thrifted another fabric that I did make into a bag, which I'm just going to show you. It was this fabric. Look how cool it is. And I actually made a backpack with it. Do you ever just make something and then you look back on it and you're like, how did I make that? How does this exist? Because I made it. It's too good. This one here, I, I, I actually broke the rules before I should have. I made it a little bit bigger than uh, was intended. But here we are. I use it to store hats 
cuts and stuff now because it's kind of like awkward. I don't know where the rest of this fabric is. If I knew where this fabric was, I would be using this fabric right here to make the bag. This is really fun too. I just like how there's a barn. I just love how there's a barn on here. And you know what? Let's just leave it at that. I will make it with this and say I love it. And then I find this fabric. I'll just make another one. It is clearly upholstery, fa upholstery? upholstery fabric for a couch. And I don't know if anyone else grew up in the 90s, but uh, I had a couch almost identical to this and a matching chair. Don't have them anymore, unfortunately, and I'm kind of bummed out. And I have more than enough to make this bag, thank goodness. I forgot how much I have of this and I love it so much. I actually have a denim jacket which was like one of my really early, really, really early sewing videos on YouTube. On the directions, which I don't think I can read because it's like this. They want you to use a more structured fabric. So like just using a cotton, like a plain cotton fabric, it's going to be too slouchy. Whereas this has a little bit of like, you know, thickness to it, a little bit of structure. So it's going to hold up a little bit better. Now, if you were to use cotton, I think you have to like iron interfacing or something on it just to give it a bit more structure. What else did I get? I have this bowl of goodies. I also stopped at the thrift store and bought this bowl for, I think, $6. Thought it would be the perfect yarn bowl because I have smaller yarn bowls. Sometimes when I'm using chunkier, bigger yarn, it won't fit in the small bowls. So this, I thought was perfect. It also weighs a ton. Things that I bought. I bought this. This is gonna be the strap. I, as always, forgot. Well, I actually didn't. I took a screenshot of what I needed for this project on my computer but I didn't send it to my phone. So when I went to the fabric store, I didn't have it. And I was like, okay, we're just gonna have to guess. I remember what I needed. I just didn't remember the measurements. So I think I um, did a little bit more than I needed. I actually got two meters of it. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $2 a meter. And then I have my fabric land card. So it was on sale anyway. So this is gonna be the strap. This is gonna be the buckle. I bought it in blue because I'm kind of going off the theme for this. So the blue is gonna kind of match the blue in the fabric. And then the brown is gonna match the brown in the fabric. Now, if there was an orange one, there was a red one. But if there was an orange one that matched the orange on here, I would have 100% bought it. But it was either this or black. And I'm like, I kind of want to stick to the theme of the project. So I got the blue one. This was $3. And then I also got these guys because I need these as well. I think I only need one the only color they had was black 229 ended up getting two zippers this heavy duty zipper because this is going to be the main zipper that i'm gonna have to like unzip all the time so i got a heavy duty one it was seven dollars and 25 cents and it is 40 centimeter zipper it should be big enough for this pattern there is a zipper in the front i ended up picking up this zipper which was a lot cheaper it was two dollars and 75 cents a regular zipper. I didn't think I needed a heavy duty one for the front pocket because I'm not going to use it as much as the side pocket. And then while I was there, they still had their sale on Singer products, which if you watch my last vlog, then you know how excited I was about that. I bought myself a stitch ripper. I do have one, but uh, it's always good to have more than one, especially when they break on you. And then um, thimbles and this nice turquoise color and uh, there's two different sizes, which is great. I want to get this project done all in one day. I think I can do it. I think it's because I'm just so not scared, but haunted. That's the word haunted from the dresses that I made years prior and how long they took that I'm like, oh, like, is it a bad idea to like try to get all this done? Today's Thursday and I want to put this video out on the Sunday, but then I got to remember it's small. It's tiny. I say this now and there's probably something horrible that's gonna end up happening to me while I'm making this and then I'm gonna have to restart over. So I need to focus on the directions. Luckily, I do have the PDF version of the directions on my laptop so I can read that. I think that's pretty much sums up everything that I'm gonna do and everything that I have to do it with. So let's get into cutting out these and then cutting out the pattern pieces from this. So now that these are cut out, I can actually use my nice sewing scissors, which I never get to use, and cut out some fabric pieces. All right, gotta get my blue mat. Oh, I think I want it here. Cause that's the thing is like, I have to figure out where I want it. I think I want this to go here. So I have a little bit of the, the orange, the blues and the browns.
little scrap piece of fabric that I had fits it like almost perfectly. I have two of the main panel this guy i had to cut one here which is the front then i had to cut one here which is the what happened to my real long piece did i not i cut this one did i not cut this one i don't think i cut everything nope did not cut everything ah, thought i did nope i had to cut two of the main panel one of the front zipper panel i had to cut a, another one of the front zipper panel upper so there's an upper and a lower part that's the upper part that's the lower part bottom panel and I had to cut two of these ones these are going to be the zipper panel and then I had to cut one two three four of the side panels that's everything okay now what I'm gonna do I probably should have done this earlier but I'm just gonna quickly iron some things I found this ironing board at an estate sale and it is the perfect size It wants me to do all the zipper parts. This is a zipper part, and these two are zipper parts. So we can put the rest of it to the side. Looking at this, and it wants me to use clamps. The only uh, little clamps I have is actually for my crochet projects, and they're these guys. Okay, so first, this zipper, which is obviously way too big. Okay, I have to use my sewing machine, which means I have to clean up my space to use it. I also forgot to mention that I'm gonna have to change the thread, which I kind of forgot about. I think I just wanna do the dark brown. I like how the color looks. What I need to do is I need to put this down and then stitch over that. I changed the foot. So this is the one I had, but it was a little too thick. So I switched it to this smaller one for the zipper. There are zipper feet out there, but this is what I have right now. This is the bigger zipper. I literally just bought the right size. I thought this one was gonna be way too big. It's it's not. All right, I got the zippers done. Zippers are now completed, which I feel like is probably the most challenging part of this project. I also forgot that I made this a little bit longer, like these two straps. So I might have to cut some from the end, but that's future Michelle's problem. Putting this aside, I guess, and I have to sew this and this together the bottom and the zipper top together line it up like the middle stitch this up here and then i have to also stitch this together but i only have four clamps so i'm gonna do this and then stitch that it wants me to put this aside and i'll start working on the straps okay uh we'll just make it up where's my stranger things one that's why i have this on hand so then that way i can just copy this i'll give it a fair amount only has to be like that so we'll give this also a fair amount this is my favorite and this one's my favorite so then we'll pair these two together and then those two together that has to be right in the center and put this on top and then what it wants me to do is it wants me to stitch this this and stitch that up let's go do that to both of them So I just changed into like some more like loungy clothes because I felt like it. So far I have the back panel with the zipper and the bottom. I have the front pouch done. And then I also have this and the other one done. Where'd the other one go? You know how I'm really bad at tying my ends in when I'm crocheting? I'm also really bad at cutting my stray threads off when I'm sewing. I have the instructions on my laptop that I've just kind of been looking at so far now it looks like my next step is to attach these guys i think these go like in here somehow i think the trickiest part of the projects is just the zipper so far i'm already kind of seeing a problem where this side looks a little bit more open than this side i don't know i don't know i'm just guessing that's the problem is that i'm not a professional sewist sewer that i just kind of guess while i'm doing things sure i have the pattern pieces but that's as far as it goes. Other than that, I just kind of slap the things together and call it a day. It usually takes me like two, three times of doing the exact same project in order to like perfect it, mainly with the dresses that I've done. So I thought I would just pop in, show my face, because most of it is showing you what I'm sewing. So back to this now. So I have to now sew this up here. This is what it's looking like so far. I don't know how to feel because I feel like it's going a little too smoothly. You know what I mean? What's the next step after doing that? We now have to clip on a 
front panel. Where the heck did that come from? So this is supposed to be sewn on here. This was like a step it's supposed to do at the beginning and then I just forgot. So I think I have to sew this all up like that. Should have done this earlier, but I didn't. Here is the little pocket. I'm gonna cut it here. I now have to attach this to this. Clamp it on here. Sew this up, sew this up. Soon as I sat down, I'm like, I did it wrong. It's be inside out. Now, now I'm gonna do it right. Trim those ends so then that zipper still is here. Great. I need to add these guys in. This is the short one and the short one, the person has directions, but I think I might just use my own directions. Actually has to be connected to like the clasp. Oh no, I would have done that. Gosh darn it. I would have done that. That would have made things so much easier. So in the directions to do this and then to stitch it, but what I should have done is I should have had both of these. Okay, my camera got too hot and needed to shut off for a little bit. So I'm just moving back to my iPhone. So anyways, I should have looked at this. I was following the directions, but I really should have been looking at this because what I would have done is I would have taken this end and I would have put it in here and I would have sewn it closed and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. But now I have to like fold it over and then I have to sew it and I have to do all of, all that stuff, which I don't really want to do. And I didn't really have to do it, but now I have to do it. I also have to burn the ends of this. So then that way they do not uh, fray. I never mentioned this. In the directions, they wanted to have one and a half inch for this. They didn't have one and a half inch with this color. So I went with one inch. And then like this was one inch too. It all worked out anyways. I've strayed from the directions and now I'm just gonna do it the way I wanna do it. We're looking at this and then we're doing this. So it goes through and then it goes through the bottom. I melted it, but it kind of got a little weird. Melty piece go through. There we go. And then it wants you to put it back through in like that and then up that gets sewn. Oh, look at that. It's actually going to work for me. Okay. So going to sew these up and that will be the end of the sewing part. No, 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 no. <gasps> the bobbin ran out. I literally had three stitches. Yeah, that's right. I sewed the last part on wrong. I don't know how I did that, but I did it. I have to unstitch it and use the remaining of my thread. Hopefully it's enough to do it properly this time. I'm really hoping I did this right this time. I don't think I did it right. I get, how am I not getting it? I did it wrong. Mm -hmm. How am I just not? grasping. All right, I'm gonna run it through the sewing machine again. I did it. I got it. I got it right. There's some stuff here I need to fix. For the most part, I got it right. Kind of wish I would have made the strap a little bit longer, but that's okay. Even though I measured it to the same measurements as this. Okay, it's fine. And it's done. Okay, so it is now the next day. I finished it. Probably only took me maybe two to three hours. I don't really remember because I forgot to look at the time when I started, but then when I did look at the time, it said three o'clock. And when I was done, it was around five o'clock. I know it was like probably two and a half hours, maybe three. Honestly, I am really shocked of how professional it looks. It looks good. And you probably hear the, the tone of my voice, not as excited as I should be. It's a little tiny. It's a little small. Yes, I know. I read the oh, you know, I kind of just looked at the photos and the photos on the Etsy made this thing look like it was really big, but it's a little too small for me. Like, I think it's really cute. I think I might just like make it like a makeup bag or something. Like it's adorable, but I am gonna do it again. I probably would have done it again for this video if I had time to make another one and also edit it for it to come out in two days, but I just don't have the time. So I will be making another one, but let's just kind of go over this. In comparison, this is the one I currently use and this is this one. It's a lot smaller and I know, like this is a different pattern. This online made it look a little bit more square. Again, I will be listing the Etsy shop that I did buy the pattern. It was really easy, maybe not beginner friendly. If you know how to use a sewing machine and you're comfortable with zippers, this will be pretty much easy for you. I just think it needs to be a little bit bigger. The square part, that's fine. I'm okay with that. It's just the width 
this part here, it's not enough to put all my things in. So like, I'm gonna unzip it. Now, I did not put a liner in. I also didn't cut the thread, but hear me out. I'm not actually gonna use it right now, so I'm not gonna cut the thread out. It also said to use bias tape, because I could have put bias tape on the edges, but again, I'm not gonna take that extra step if I'm not gonna use it. Look at this nice zipper here. And then inside it's like fabric. This is great. Like I think I did really good with this little zipper. These here also look really good. Like I'm not saying it doesn't look bad. It's just I wish it was a little bit bigger. I also, stupid me, didn't actually make the, the band long enough. And what sucks is that I still have like all of that left over. I mean, sure, I probably could attach it if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. If this bag was the right size, then I would do something about this whole situation. I do like the blue touch here. I wish it was orange. And then you saw the frustration I had about this little doohickey. It works now. Like it does what it's supposed to do. I, I don't know, I would pin it, like that's right, bring it to the sewing machine, take it away from the sewing machine, look at it and be like, I did that wrong. Not only did I do that once, I did it two times. I mean, it fits me. It's just, I like it a little bit lower. I don't know, maybe it isn't as bad as I thought. The other issue I do have, this is what it looks like on, it's a little top heavy. It can't be the zipper. The zipper is like a chunkier zipper, but it's not a heavy zipper. It's not made out of metal, it's still plastic. It's just a little top heavy that it kind of goes like this. And I don't like that, I'd rather it, I mean, I guess if I like, tighten it up. I don't know, am I falling in love with this bag now after I'm complaining about it? Overall, it's okay. It's still, it's just a little top heavy. I did put everything in it. I'll just demonstrate it. My wallet, sunglasses, car keys. Let's put the car keys like maybe in a little zipper pouch. My comb, my hand sanitizer, which technically I probably could put it on here, but then I just, I don't want extra things. Everything is already falling out. Barely zips up. I still have more things in my bag, but it's not gonna fit in here. Don't like how it does this, where it kinda, it's like rolling kinda like that, but it works. It's a nice little bag. If I need like a nice little bag that I'm not gonna need a ton of stuff in, like this would be great to have with me if it's like a purse day and I wanna leave it in my car, but I wanna like, you know, take my wallet, keys, stuff like that. And then this would be perfect for me. There's just a few little tweaks that I have to make in order to make it perfect because everything is literally like squished in here. What I might do is I might take the pattern and I might Frankenstein it. I might take a few pieces that I like and leave them. This part here I might make wider. This part here I would also make wider and that would be it. That'd be the only things that I would have to change. Overall, I think I did a really good job. It looks really good. It is really sturdy. Like, it was really easy to follow the pattern. I'm gonna give it, it's upside down, a seven out of 10, just because usability isn't really where I want it to be right now. Like if it was a little bit bigger, again, 10 out of 10. Everything else is pretty good. I still have all this fabric. I can make more of them. I would like to start sewing things again this summer. I think that will do it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that's it. See so y'all have a good day now.